Hi everyone, welcome to another class. We are going to make a little start now. Um, for this class, you're going to need a pillow. Um, or if you have a ball, like myself, that's what I'm going to use here. If you have a ball, that's great. So pause the video. Go grab a pillow or a cushion, something that you can squeeze and hit play with your back. All right, let's come up into standing for me now. We're nice and tall. Feet together. Let's take a deep breath in. On that breath out, chin to chest, head down. Shoulders, lower back, stretch it all the way towards your toes. And gently curve that spine back up, up, and up. Again, from me breathing in. On that breath out, chin to chest. Begin to curve your spine all the way down again. Same movement, stretching towards your toes, pushing your chest towards your knees. And curving up, up, and up. One more for me, breathing in. Breathing out, chin to chest, and just curve and roll it down. And stretch back to your toes again as far as you can. And we're coming now all the way back up tall. I'm going to cross your arms coming out in front now. And I want you to rotate your upper body all the way around to the right. Hold it around now for three, two, one. Back into the middle. Rotating left for three, two, one. Back into middle. Again, rotation right a little further if you can. For three, two, one, into middle, and left. Round three, two, and one. Back into middle, relaxed up. From here, right heel to bum, knee back, forward hip stretch and quads. For four, three, two, one, come slightly forward. Go all the way back again. For four, three, two, one. Relax it down, swap it over, pull them back. For four, three, two, one. Slide forward. All the way back again. Another four, three, two. And one. Okay, use all you need to know. Right leg stepping out, wide circles for five, four, three, two, one. And step it in the way now for five, four, three, two, one. Right down, left step out for five, four, three, two, one, and step it in for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, what we're going to start with. What you're going to do is have a look at me for a second. Your feet in line with your shoulders, okay? The ball is going in front, or your pillow, I'm going to call it a ball. Your straight fingers. You're going to bring your right heel up. Followed by that right toe, the ability is there. We're going to squeeze the ball tight and you're going to rotate to the right as far as you can. Keep it a nice tabletop forward. Hold for five seconds, coming back into the center and relax. And you're going to try to keep those arms up. You can drop the toe if you need that support or stability um, for the balance. So let's get the feet in line with the shoulders now. Upper body is tall. Nice and neutral pelvis. Arms extend forward, ease your option of any shoulder rotation. Keep your elbows to your side. Straight fingers. Right heel up, followed by that right toe if the ability is there. Now, taking a breath in. On that breath out, pelvic bone core tight. Squeeze that ball as hard as you can or pillow. Now, keep the squeeze on as you rotate right. Hold that core tight for five, four, three, two, one, keep squeezing as you come back into the center. Let that ball relax. Again, breathe it in. 
on that breath out, pelvic floor, core engaged, squeeze the ball, rotate right again, same side, for five, four, three, two, one. Rotate center, relax everything. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Pelvic floor and core tight, squeeze up all nice and hard, straight arms, straight fingers, into your rotation right. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Come back into the center. Relax the ball. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Again, squeeze everything. Over to the right. A little further if you can. See the ball can get tighter. For five, four, three, two, one. Come back into the center. And release. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Squeeze that ball for me. Over to the rotation again. Steady hold now. For five, four, three, two, one. Come into center. Relax the ball. Halfway. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Squeeze that ball nice and hard. Rotate the upper body, head coming around with it as well. Four for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center, still squeezing until you're at the center. Relax, four to finish. Breathe in, breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight, squeeze up all nice and hard. Work out those arms, those pecs over to the right. Four, five, four, three, Two, one, back into middle, pressure off the ball. Breathe in, breathe in out. Pelvic bone core tight, again, squeezing, rotating right. Nice tight squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Back into middle, still squeezing, and release. Two to finish, breathe in. Breathe in out, pelvic floor and core tight. Squeeze the ball nice and hard, steady breath. To the right we go. Nothing coming loose. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into center, release. Last one, breathe it in, breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight, squeeze that ball. Rotate one more time, right, hold tight. Final five. Four, three, two, one. Into the center, relax the ball, toe down, heel down. Pop that pillow or ball on the floor for a second. Get your arms down, throw them up overhead, and relax them down. Again, up and down. One more, throwing them up. Good, and down. Hands on the legs, get together, slide those hands. As far down those legs as you can. Hold it down for five, four, three, two, one. Stand low, grab that ball or pillow again, curve the spine all the way back up, and we're heading now 10 to the left. Okay, remember those easier options. You can leave that left toe down and you can rotate with the elbows into the side, back center, and relax. That's completely bent. So just as you need. We know that. Again. So feet in line. Upper body tall, and again, we're nice and neutral on that pelvis always. Elbows either into your side, straight fingers. If you can make it harder, arms out straight. Focus forward to begin with. Left heel up, followed by that left toe if the ability is there. Take a nice deep breath in. On that breath out, pelvic bone core tight. I want you to squeeze the ball. Rotating the left this time. Hold in for five, four, three, Two, one, into the center and release. Breathe in, breathe in out. Pelvic bone core tight, squeeze the ball over left and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come back into your center for me. Pressure off the ball. Again, breathe in. Breathe in out, pelvic bone core tight, squeeze that ball tight. Way we go again into that rotation. See if the ball can get tighter when you're around. 
for five, four, three, two, one. Come back into the center. Pressure off. Breathe in, breathe in up. Pelvic groin core, squeeze up all tight. Keep the pressure in the ball, right and left. All the way. Hold it now for five, four, three, two, one. Come back into the middle. Keep stretching those arms forward for me. And release. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Pelvic bone core tight. Squeeze up all tight. Let's go over to the left. Hold it. For five, four, three, two, one. Come back into the center. Pressure off. Halfway. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Pelvic bone core tight. Again, squeeze up the lower ball. Over left, not letting them come loose. Holding five, four, three, two, one. You're coming back into the middle now again for me. Pressure off. Another breath in. Breathe and out. Pelvic bone core, squeeze again. Over left. Let's get tighter. For five, four, three, two. One, back into the center, release, three to go, breathe in, breathe in out, pelvic bone core, nice weight coming to those arms now, squeeze tight, rotate on the left, stretch in the arms, for five, four, three, two, one, into middle, release, breathe in, Breathe in out, pelvic bone core tight. Again, squeeze hard. We're going to the left, getting tighter on the rotation. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into the center. Pressure off. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Pelvic bone core tight. Squeeze up all hard. Let's go one more time. On the left, getting tight. Last five. Four, three, two, one. Back into the center. Relax up all. Toe down. Heel down. Pop the pillow or ball to the side. Let's get those arms again. We're going to throw them up. And down. And again. Throw them up. And down. One more. Throw them up. And back down. Okay, at this point. Pop down into your seated position on your mat for me. All right. From here now, again, let's take a second. Arms up, chin to chest, curve and stretch towards your toes for me. Pushing the knees to mat for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Relax, stop. I want you now to have a look at me for a second, watching the next little leg movement we are going to do. So you're going to come down onto your block, all right? You're going to bring your right leg to tabletop. Arms going across the chest. You're going to straighten that right leg to your starting position, two knees in line, toes towards you. You're going to lower the heel down towards the mat, not touch it. You're going to keep Keep the heel close to the mat. You're going to bend your knee up. And you're going to take the heel as close to the palm as you can. Never hitting the mat. Hold them for five seconds. And you're going to come back out in extension. Keeping the heel low. Toes towards you. Then back up. Two knees in line. To make this harder, you can take that right or left leg to tabletop. Okay, again, easier option, left foot on the floor. So let's give it a go. Get the knees and the hips going here. Knees bent up, space between the feet knees. Let's start with that pelvis. Tilting that lower back into the mat. Arch it away. Back half and hold it there. Arms across the chest, shin tucked in. Let's bring that right leg to tabletop. And only if you're able, left to join. You can drop that left one at any point. Keeping that pelvis in. Entered. I want you to straighten out that right leg, toes towards you. From here, you're taking a breath in. On that breath out, lower that right heel down towards the mat, not touching. Again, you can tap the mat and come slightly 
up, so you know where you are. Now, bend the knee, taking the heel in towards the bum, keep the core tight, hold it there. Again, you're always hovering the mat, not touching. For five, four, three, two, one. Extend the leg, nice slow movements back out, curling the toes towards you, and then lift up, two knees are up, okay? Again, you're not going to get the two knees in line with your other leg and tabletop, so just up leg breathe. Again, breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Right leg down. Once you're down, hovering, point the toes away. Heel now coming in towards the bum. You're working the quads and the lower core here. Get the heel all the way in. Hold them for five, four, three, two, one. Extension of that right leg back out. Hover in the mat. Toes towards you. Let's lift back up and hold. Breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Right heel down towards that mat again. Bend the knee. Heel coming in towards the bum. Nothing coming loose now. Pelvic floor and core in. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Right leg extension over the mat. Toes towards you again. Just going to slow as I'm going. Then lift back up and hold. Breathing in. Breathing out, pelvic floor and core tight, spine still center. Begin to lower towards the mat. Okay, over that mat, knee bending up, heel coming in towards the bottom. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Back in the extension for me. Nice and controlled, never hit the mat, toes towards you. Up we come. Again, breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic floor and core tight, right leg dropping down. Bend the knee. Heel coming into that bomb. Again, you can tap the floor and come slightly up so you know you're not too far away on the floor. For five, four, three, two, one. Back in that extension for me again. Toes towards you, up we come. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Let's begin to lower down again. Heel coming in towards the bum. Tummy still tight. All five, four, three, two, one. Right leg out right in extension with control. Toes towards you and up. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Again, right leg down. Really working those quads. Now you're feeling it. Down we come. Heel light drawn in towards those glutes, the bombs. Hold it in. Four, five, four, three, two, one. All right, an extension for me. Hover in the mat. Toes towards you. Left and up, hold it. Three left. Breathe in, breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Right leg down to hover. All right, and we come with that heel. And judge the mat. Make sure you're not too high with the heel. I don't want it away up here. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Leg extension out. Up we come, hold, breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic floor and core tight, let's go again. Down towards the mat, keep the pelvis centered. Let's drive that heel in towards the bum now, tummy still in. Hold it in for five, four, three, two, one. Back out in that extension. Lovely and straight, toes towards you, up we come. Last one, breathe it in, breathe it out. Pelvic floor, core tight. Lower that heel down towards the mat. Knee bending, heel driving in towards the bum. 
Pull four, five, four, three, two, one. Back arch in your extension. Keep that tummy tight. Up we come into tabletop. Drop one leg, drop the second. Slide your legs out for me. Get your right knee all the way in towards your chest. Now hold it in for five, four, three, two, one. Slight release. I want you to put all the way back in again for another five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to repeat that exact same movement with that left leg. So start from the very beginning with that pelvis, rolling that lower back into the mat, arch it all the way out, back half, hold it there. Arms either on the mat or across the chest. We're bringing now that left leg to tabletop, and as always, only Bring in that right leg if the ability is there. You're starting out with your breath in, breathing out, pelvic bone core tight, left extension, starting position, heel going down towards the mat. Now the heel coming in towards the bottom as far as you can, keeping the heel low. You can always tap the mat to make sure you're not too high. For five, four, three, two, one, extension of the leg out, toes towards you, lift them back up. Breathe in, breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight, left heel down towards the mat. When you're ready, knee bent, heel coming into that bum, hold the core. Now for five, four, three, two, one, extension of that left leg back out. Up we come, hold it. Breathe in, breathe in out. Pelvic bone core tight, left heel down towards the mat. Bend the knee, heel coming in towards the bum. Hold it in for five, four, three, two, one, hard in your extension for me, toes towards you. Then lift back up to your starting position. We're taking our breath in, breathing out. Again, pelvic bone forward tight, left heel down towards the mat. Bend the knee, heel coming towards the bottom. Keep a nice tabletop and that right leg if it's up. Hold in for five, four, Three, two, one. Left leg extension first. Turn the toes towards you. Up we come. Remember, center pelvis. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Again, left heel down towards the mat. Nothing coming loose. Let's bend the knee. Heel drawn in towards the bum. As close as we can. We're holding that tummy for five. Four, three, two, one. Left extension. Then toes towards you. Up we come, halfway. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Let go of that left heel down for me. Bend the knee. Heel coming in towards the bum. Another hold for five, four. Three, two, one. Extension out again for me. Toes towards you. Rising back up. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Pelvic bone core tight. Way down we go again. All the way down. Let's bend the knee. Heel coming into the bum. No arch into that spine. Hold it in now for another five, four, three. Two, one, stretch that left leg back out, toes towards you, up we come again. Three to finish, breathe it in, on that breath out again, pelvic bone core, down we come. Nice and straight until the knee now starts to bend, keep drawn into the bum, hold again for five, four, three, two, 
One, out in the extension, slow movements. Toes towards you, lifting back up. Breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Heel dropping down. Heel coming now in towards the bottom. Or engage, hold it. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Back out in the extension. Toes towards you. Up we come. One more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Pelvic going core tight. Let's go again all the way down. Heel and the bum. Tummy tight all the way in. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch it all the way back out. Lift it up. Hand to tabletop, drop one leg. Drop the second, well done everyone, stretch your legs out. Bringing out that left knee into your chest as close as you can. Holding in for five, four, four three, two, one. Slight release. We're gonna pull it all the way back in again. Another five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it all. Up into your seated position now for me. Arms up, chin to chest, curve and stretch it towards your toes. Hold in for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. You're going to bend your knees up. Ball is going between the knees. Hands are going behind your butt. Fingers are facing forward. What you're going to do, be nice and close together. Not touching. You're going to squeeze that ball with your knees and you're going to lift your bum as high up to the sky as you can, keeping your chin tucked in, not letting the ball come loose. Bringing that bridge all the way back down, then relaxing the ball. Okay, we've 10 of those to do. Easier option, squeeze and lift your bum in your normal bridge. Okay, those are my two options for you. So, get into whatever position you feel more comfortable. If you're in the lion, make sure you're nice and centered. If you're in sitting, hands behind the bum, fingers facing forward, bend to elbows. From here, take a nice deep breath in. On that breath out, pelvic floor and core tight. I want you first of all to squeeze that bum. Lift your bum up. Lift your bum as high as you can towards the sky. Hold that ball tight on the bum for five, four, three, two. One, let your spine come all the way back down, your bum all the way back down, and relax the ball. Again, breathe it in, breathe it out. Pelvic floor, core tight. Squeeze that ball for me. Let's go. Bum up, lower back, chest rise up. Hold that ball for five, four, three, two. One, still squeezing all the way back down with that bridge. Bend to elbows, ball relaxing. Breathe in, breathe in out. Pelvic floor and core tight, squeeze that ball. Lift your bum up, pushing those hips to the sky, nothing coming loose. Chin in for five, four, three, two, one. Take your spine all the way back down, bum down, bend to elbows, relax the ball. Breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic floor and core tight, again, squeeze that ball tight. Lift your bum, push those hips high, keep squeezing that ball, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, still squeezing, bum back down onto the mat, hip, elbows bent, ball relax. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Pelvic bone core tight, we're squeezing up all tight. Lifting the bum, lower back, chest up, as high as able about back irritation for five, four, three, two, one. Still squeeze all the way back down. Bum hits the mat, bend the elbows, ball relax, you're halfway. Breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic bone core tight, squeeze the ball, lift the bum up now, pushing as high to the sky as you can. Pelvic 
Four chord type, all type, or five, four, three, two, one. Pull the way back down for me. Bend to elbows, ball release. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Pelvic one chord tight, let's squeeze that ball. Let's lift the bomb. Question is how you can without that ball coming loose. Hold it. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Bringing that spine back down. Bend to elbows. Ball release. Three more. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Pelvic groin core tight. Squeeze the ball. Up we come. Steady breath. As high as you can. Rise it up. Hold it. Four, five. Four, three, two, one. All the way back down. Elbows bend, release the ball. Breathe in, breathe in out. Pelvic groin core tight. Again, squeeze that ball for me. Lift the bum. Push in the high without any coming loose. Chin in, hold the now for five, four, three. Bum tight, two, one. Curve that spine down, bend to elbows, ball release. Last one, breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic groin core tight. Squeeze up as hard as you can, activate the groin. Lift the bum, that's the triceps working, the hamstrings and glutes as you rise it up. Hold everything tight now for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Still squeezing on the way back down. Bomb to match, bend to elbows, relax, stop. Take that baller, pull away for a second, stretch your legs, chin to chest, curve and stretch towards your toes, knees to the mat. For five, four, three, two, one. Hand release, one more, my breathe it in. Breathe it out, chin to chest, curve the spine, stretch towards your toes for another five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it all. The only difference now to our next set is when we get to the top of that bridge, either normal bridge or your sitting bridge, you're going to be pulsing that ball in and out for 10 seconds, okay? Let's give it a go. Roll out your wrist for a second if you wish. All right. Let's get those hands behind the bum. Focusing forward. Feet nice and close together. If you're in that low bridge, the normal bridge, make sure you're nice and neutral with your pelvis. And now taking a breath in. Breathe in out, your pelvic floor and core tight. You're gonna squeeze the ball to start with for me. Now you're going to lift the bum up, lower back, chest up, don't let the bum drop, out and in with the knees now for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze tight, let that bum roll all the way back down, bend to elbows, ball relax. Good, and again, take your breath in, breathe in out. Pelvic bone core tight. Let's squeeze that ball. Lift bum, lower back, chest all the way up. And away we go again. Pulse in those knees for 10, 9, 8. Ball never coming loose. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze tight. Curve and that spine back down. And relax it off. Breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic bone core tight. Again, let's squeeze that ball for me. Let's lift the bum up. Lower back, chest all the way up, chin tucked in. Let's go again. Pulsing, bum high. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one tight squeeze, curve that spine down, pressure off, 
breathing in. On that breath out again, pelvic arm core tight, squeeze that ball tight. Lift the bum, push that bum as high as you can to the sky, keep the pressure on the bum, away we go, pulsing for 10, 9, chin in, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, tight squeeze, curve your spine back down, bend to elbows, ball relax, breathe it in, breathe it out, pelvic going forward tight, let's go again, squeeze that ball tight, straighten the arms, lift the bum, bring your push those hips as high as you can, chin in, and away we go pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Tight squeeze. Curve that spine down. Pressure off. Starting to feel the groins now. Breathing in. Breathing out. Pelvic one core tight. Start to squeeze hard. Lift the bum. Washing those hips high again. Chin in. Let's go. Tight squeezes for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Tight squeeze. Curve that spine back down for me. Pressure off. Two more and we're done, ladies. Breathing in, breathing out. Engage in your pelvic floor and core. Squeeze up all tight. Up we come. Pushing as high as you can. Bum tight. Away we go. For 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tight squeeze. Bringing that spine all the way back down. Pressure off. Last one. Breathing in. Breathing out. Pelvic floor and core tight. Squeeze that ball tight. Lift, lift the bum. Lower back, chest all the way up. Away we go, final 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, tight squeeze, come all the way back down, relax the palm, well done. We are done with the ball or pillow. I want you now to take a second, get the feet together, hands either on the ankles or underneath the toes. Tuck your chin into your chest and push your knees as wide apart as you can to stretch those bones. Hold in five, four, three, two, one, and release. One more, breathing in, breathing out, tucking your chin to chest, push those knees wide, hold wide for five, four, three, two, one, and pressure off, nice stretch those legs out, arms up, chin to chest, curve and stretch towards your toes, keep that chin in, driving the knees to the mat, three, two, one, and release, give me one more, breathing in, breathing out, chin to chest, curve and stretch it, for five, four, Three, two, and one. Take a second now, roll out your wrist. For five, four, three, two, one. Shake them out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, right into your prayer position. We're going to finish, as always, with a plan. Chin to chest, stretch those fingertips all the way up to the top of your mat for me. Hold in for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it off. Okay, so again, any form of planking, I am happy, be it the low one if you feel that one best for your body, or the high one. I am going to do the high one. Remember, you have the half planks there if you need them. So let's come. All right. Hands on your shoulders, knees in the line. Come here, head in, arch up. 
head off the mark, come back halfway, center. So you're looking at that map between the hands. Remember that half plank is lift, crossing the feet, lift them, and lean forward. Full plank, one leg back, opposite leg back. Timer has started, nice and straight. Don't let the hips up, don't let the hips drop. Straight. Keep the tummy in, keep that pelvic board tight. 10 seconds gone. Steady breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Hold it. Don't let the head drop either. Nice alignment. Final 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop one knee. Drop the second. One big heels. Chin to chest. Creep all the way up to the top of your mat. For three. Two, one, roll out the wrist. So that was a 30 second plank. Now we're going to head in for a 40 second plank. So let's come back into it. Hands under shoulders, knees in line. Let's go. Head in our jump. Head up on out. Back half. Okay, half plank. If you're taking it, get into your position now. Full plank, one leg back. Opposite leg back. Time to start it again. Again, the pelvic core, that back passage, tighten it, and then tighten it all the way around to the front. Your tummy's coming in, so you're never going to let that core drop down. Control breath while you're trying to keep everything tight. You're halfway there now. So nice and steady, nice and strong, nice and straight. Good, we have it. Countdown coming on now for the last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop one knee. Drop the second. Bong the heels. Shin to chest. Creep all the way up the top of your mat for me. For five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back on your heels. Roll out your wrist. So we do have one more left. And we're going to push it out for one minute. Of course, if you need to take the breaks, that is completely fine. Do so. So let's go. Hands under shoulders, knees in line. The last bit of work we're going to do. Head in, arch up. Head up, one out. Come back halfway and hold. Half plank in a position. Full plank, one leg back. Opposite leg back. And there we go. Nice and straight. Again, keep the head in the line. Don't let it drop. You're looking at the mat between your hands. Think about that pelvic floor again. That back passage is tight. Zip it right around to the front and then get that core tight as well. Just hold it. Breathing through it. Nothing coming loose. Nice and strong. Only if you need to. That half plank there. You're halfway already. Timer's flying, we're good, we're done after this, you're going to push it out for me. The countdown's coming on so soon, we're nearly there. Then double check the pelvic floor's tight, double check that tummy's drawn in. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, tummy tight, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, well done, drop one knee, drop the second, bomb the heels, chin to chest, creep those fingertips all up the top of your mat. Creep those fingertips over now to the top right hand side of the mat. Keeping the chin in. Take those fingertips back to the center. And go over now to the top left hand side of the mat. And back to the center. Now you're making your way now to your four point knee. Head in, arch it up. And then switch, head up the mat. And again, head in, arch it up. And switch, head up the mat. Come in the center, you're now curling your toes. Very gently walking it back to a crouch position. 
From there, straighten your legs and curve and roll that spine back up. Up and up. Feet together, hands together now for me. Chin tucked in, reach up, arch your back. And center. Gonna reach it and arch it. And center. One more reach and arch. Center, right hand dropping down the right inside of the back, push the elbow down for four, three, two, one, slight release. Again, back down, four, three, two, one, switch, and down. For four, three, two, one, slight release. Again, down we go, four, Three, two, and one. Relax it off. Let those arms swing. From here now, right heel to bum, knee back, forward hips. For four, three, two, one. Slide forward. Pull all the way back again. For four, three, two, one. Swap it over. Pull them back. Four. Three, two, one, slide forward, back again. Four, three, two, and one. Relax it all feet together. We're nice and tall. Taking a deep breath in. Breathe and out. Tuck your chin to chest. Curve your head down. Stretch your fingertips towards your toes for me. And gently curve your spine all the way back up. Another nice deep breath in. Pull in that breath out, chin to chest. Curve your spine all the way down. Stretch it back to your toes, pushing your chest and towards your knees. Pressure coming off. Now curving it all the way up. 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 One more, breathing in, breathing out, chin to chest, roll it all the way down. This time as you come down, you're completely relaxing your whole body for a minute. I need to finish, gently curve back up, up, and up. Well done, everyone. That brings to the end of another class so as always i hope you're enjoying them and i will see you all next week bye